Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective, for whoever, whenever, wherever. Um, we're going to start this with a page from The Secrets of the Lost Simples by John Michael Greer. And I hope you guys are all doing wonderful today. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe and to uh, smile and take everything with a grain of salt because it's your choice, your life, and um, it's up to you how beautiful you make it. So... <sighs> degree. Interesting. The fraternal and magical lodge systems, levels of initiations, each in which of its own ceremony, symbolism, and traditional lore. The term grades is also used for the same meaning. The system of degrees was originally inspired by the third level structure of the medieval guild system, in which the member could expect to pass through stages of apprentice, journeyman, and master in the course of his career. Apprentices are taught the basics of a craft in exchange for room and board, and were bound to work from um, work for the master for a fixed period of years. Journeymen, companions, or fellows, the terms for this stage varied, had completed the apprenticeship and worked for the masters for wages, developing their skills in the guild's trade. Upon completion of the masterpiece, an item of work that showed a complete mastery of the craft, craft journeymen advanced to the rank of master, gained voting rights in the guild, and took on apprentices and journeymen of their own. So, um, that's interesting. It talks about like the leveling up, right? Like the levels and the degrees, and we we use degrees um, not just in. Um, guilds and, and esoteric lodges, but also in um, school, right? Do you, you know, you get your degree in this um, or in um, just measurement period, like degrees, um, 360 degrees in a circle. So um, when you, when you accomplish enough to teach others, um, then you get a say. That's what this, according to what this says, um, you get a say in the guild, in the lodge, and you also get to take on um, apprentices and journeymen of your own. So where are we in this? And what does that have to do with today's reading? Well, let's find out. I just saw two, 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 the moon, nine of swords, three of swords. My goodness, we're having a day. Hanged man. Knight of Swords, getting to something. Nine of Chalices. See here, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Five of Challenges. Uh, wow, I said Challenges. It's chal Chalices. And then the Three of Pentacles. So in the end, we have uh, two. Th we have three, nine, three. We have um, two nines, two threes, two knights with a K, and the moon with the hangman as well. What's on the bottom? King of chalices. So it's going to be up to us to exercise emotional intelligence in this situation. There might be things that we don't know, um, things that have yet to be revealed that are kind of giving us a lot of um, mental mental instability, mental um, turmoil, right? And it could be like old thoughts from the past, things that, um, something that had occurred that we didn't know everything about that's really eating away at our peace, right? And so it's important for us to take a time out when we can't see where we're going, when we don't know what's coming up next, take a time out and uh, allow yourself to look at things differently. Now, this could be a forced time out because you don't have enough information to move forward or you, um, are waiting to, I think, waiting to hear something or express something, because after that we get the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords in this deck is writing, writing and rewriting, it, uh, communicating, right? What will be communicated? What are the thoughts that need to be uh, said, handled, expressed, right? In order to achieve our wishes, in order to go from, um, you know, this uh, anticipated heartbreak, anticipated betrayal, anticipated suck, you know, into the wish that we want, into the beauty of the creation that we wish to uh, bring into the world, right? And so then we get the Knight of Wands in the reverse, the Five of Chalices and the Three of Pentacles. You know, um, this is kind of, you know, like they call it player energy. This is somebody who is very impulsive, Knight of Wands in reverse, very um, inconsiderate, does things very quickly, kind of leaves, um, you know, a... a pile of ash in its wake, right? Um, and that's invoking, provoking sadness within us, right? We might be lamenting what 
was previous, what could have possibly been, um, who we thought this was right before we, when we were anticipating in the information we didn't have yet, you know, speculation, um, it feels like speculation, right? And so we, we come to a point where we, um, need to talk about these things. We need to express these things. We need to say how we feel about it, you know, um, this, I'm just going to show you these three cards together because you see how in the uh, three of swords here, she's she's got some uh, tissue here and she's got this like piece of paper and a key, right? A letter that has been received. Well, here's this knight of wands or knight of uh, swords, sorry, writing over and over and over. And what's interesting is there is um, a cup here right? And the cup seems to be empty. So it's insinuating like taking the emotion out of this. And then here we have this five of cups. And again, she's got a tissue and she's crying. It could be that letter that she read. Here's all of these books, things that we learned, information that we received, right? That's a little bit, um, it in of itself is a little heartbreaking, but it's kind of freeing. So you could be, you could be having to express something to someone about maybe their behavior, about how it affects others. Maybe they are unaware of that, right? Um, in order to um, get to the point where we're, we're no longer lamenting what was lost, but moving toward the wishes that we would like to achieve, right? Here we go. There's this, like this party here, and um, we wind up with the master. Right, we wind up with you talk about apprentice and um, journeyman and master. Here we go. The three of pentacles is the teacher, the master, the one who takes on the apprentices. So it could be that um, through all of this, you're able to teach someone else something via communication about how they made you feel about what the situation. Um, was headed toward and how to resolve it happily because that's what the king of chalices does that's what the king of cups does mm, two of wands kind of at a crossroads with this can you tell me more about this top row the moon with the nine of swords and the three of swords it's five of wands right petty petty arguments very interesting um we don't it's like he's like looking out over the horizon looking over um the lands below and um assessing he does he's in this deck you know the wands are on the side it's more important about where he's going than what he's taking with him and i think that that's uh crucial here especially when we have another five right the five of wands five 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 so there are a lot of changes occurring but it really does kind of say like degrade like the degree right the grade when we step down it's degrade so we're going down from the pain of the five of five of um wands here why did i say then we have we don't have three watt fives wow <laughs> interesting i thought we did we have three threes three of swords again something has to be done here we can't we can't live in this mess with these people arguing okay so now we have five of wands plus two of one minus the two of wands equals three of swords right maybe people don't want you to go Maybe this type of um, pettiness uh, is is fueling them because they're also five of wands is also sparring, right? It's also competition. It's also learning. So what is being taught here, and who's learning from this, and who's watching? Who is the master here, watching over how all of these people react, how all of these people handle their responsibilities, and how they handle this situation? Wow, Knight of Cups in the reverse, another knight, not wanting to give it any. Um, not wanting to move forward because our heart's not in it, not taking any action toward it because it's emotionally damaging, right? Three of Pentacles, again, pay attention to your work, strength, and the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, this this is the trust. We need to get past this. We need to get beyond this. Eight of cups in the reverse. And there might not be a way to leave this. It might be about incorporation. It might be about cooperation. It might be about having to straighten out this situation so that everybody can participate, prosper, and grow. And that's going to take logic, right? And that's going to take actual work. And if, if it, emotionally you aren't invested in it, it almost seems like that's okay. Focus on the logistics of it. Focus on the material of it. Focus on the work right what needs to be done um and what needs to be expressed and what needs to be said because that's what's going to get the work get 
the job accomplished, right? And all will be revealed. So we're in a time of stasis, kind of watching over all of this happening, kind of in our heads, stuck in our heads about it. What is painful to us? Expressing that might be painful to someone else, but it's necessary here. We get, wow, queen of roses and on track, right? When you lead with your heart, you're going to be going in the right direction, right? Emotional intelligence is what's called for here in order to keep the train moving in the right direction and keep it on the tracks, right? So um, there might be, we have uh, masculine and feminine aspects of the same element here. Um, and we have a knight of this element that's in the reverse. So that's that's that apprenticeship journeyman and mastery, right? The apprentice could be considered the page. And then we have these journeymen here who are the knights, who are learning, who are actively doing the job. They have some know-how, but they're refining their skills, right? And so that's what's called for here. Communicate. How can, how can we refine our skills in this situation? Whether that be in work or a project or that's in like relationships with others, right? Because we do have a divine counterparts here. If that's, um, you know, our kids at our house, I mean, it's, it's going to be different for everybody. But the, the bottom line is that sometimes we do need to communicate what's painful um, in order to resolve it. And that will open up the possibilities of which direction we can go. But while all of that chaos is still going on, and while we're still caught in our heads about it, we're stuck. We're going to be stuck, that hangman there. We want to move toward our wishes, and that's through this communication, Knight of Swords. Um, reverse, this says, even when I fall in love or befriend others, I find a lot wrong with them after a while. But Healing Anger says, I learn to love both the positive and negative aspects of others as I grow to love my own strengths and weaknesses. And that's coming out with the Queen of Cups and the Strength card on the table. And all these fives, you know, people are people. We're people too. That's, you know, we're loving all aspects of it, right? And this one says, um, in the negative, it says, if I say something, I get easily embarrassed or often misunderstood. Very important. And a lot of people feel this way when we're trying to communicate something, especially something that's got a lot of um, emotional attachment within us, a lot of turmoil within us, a lot of trigger points within us. It's um, really easy to be intimidated by speaking up, but we have to because the healthy goal for this is the only way others can get to know my true self is if I talk from my heart. It's a necessary communication communication, necessary communication in order to free us from this space and from this situation. On the bottom, it says, um, I am afraid of change. I'm so glad I looked at the bottom because it says, if necessary, I am willing to let go of an old identity, lifestyle, or relationship or career so that I can grow and develop my potential for every ending is an opportunity to see something new emerge. Like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be the total ending of the situation, but it's an ending of how, of how this is happening or occurring within the situation. I'm just going to grab one. Because we need a Mike Dooley for this. Mike Dooley, notes from the universe on abundance, always knows what to say. Thank you, universe. Thank you, Mike Dooley. Thank you guys for being here. We just have a little bit of advice to round us out at the end in this situation. It says, beautiful, isn't it? When someone is so desperate to have what they want to have, do, wait, when someone is so desperate to have what they want to have, do what they want to do, or be who they want to be, then the that they'd rather take teeny tiny itsy bitsy steps in the direction of their dreams than face one more single day of doing without. I just can't help but open the flood great gates. It's my greatest weakness. Was that a step? The universe, right? So bit by bit, little by little, the universe wants to help you get to where it is that you need to go. And by taking these actions, you're telling the universe that you're ready for it, that you're willing to accept it, that um, you're open to that possibility, that, that nine of cups, and that you're prepared for it. And that not only are you prepared for it, but you're prepared to help others get there as well. And that's really, really important. That's the masterpiece, right? Creating that masterpiece so that you understand how good at it you are.
right? Build that confidence within you so that you can build the confidence within others. Because when there's a lot of fighting and a lot of inner turmoil happening within a group, right? A lot of things that are being unseen, a lot of places that um, need to be kind of turned and looked at, um, it can be really daunting, and it can be really scary, and it can be very stressful. But we take the moment, if we choose to take the moment before the universe chooses to set us down, right? We, it's advantageous for us. And no matter what, in these kinds of situations, somebody is going to feel a little, a little hurt. Um, but that's why we have to be gentle with them. We have to be gentle with ourselves. Emotional intelligence is what's called for here. And that's part of the mastery of the situation too. So don't underestimate that. All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you're in the Wyandotte area, come down and see me from three to six. I'll uh, be at Glowfish Studios or sorry, three to seven. I, I was at Glowfish till seven yesterday. Two to 7 p.m. Um, so just come down and see us if the sign is out and I'm there. But uh, if this is where we part, I will see you next time. Thanks.